Celtic FC have always been on the mind of former Hearts and Scotland boss Craig Levine. He has claimed that with Celtic's injury issues at this moment in time, they will struggle to keep pace in this season's title race. Talking about Celtic FC, Levine named injured defender Christopher Jullian as one of the critical players Celtic will need back as soon as possible, otherwise, they will struggle this campaign. Hen asked if Celtic currently have a squad capable of winning the league, he said, at this minute in time, no. Because the players they need to do that are on the treatment table. So it's a simple answer, no. If they don't get Jullian back as soon as possible, I think they'll struggle. He's the one with the pace and athleticism to do what the manager wants. I actually feel sorry for Angie because he's brought in Giorgio's Giacoumakis and has got injured in the warm-up. I've seen that happen before, but it's extremely rare. Since picking up his injury last December, the Frenchman has been a big miss, and it was a blow to lose him for such an extended amount of time. Thankfully, it sounds like the 28-year-old is nearing a return, with it being expected he will be back in training after the next international break. Although he won't solve all the problems Celtic has had this season instantly, it will come as a massive boost to Postacogla having the experienced defender back in the side. In recent weeks, we have had an incredible amount of injury issues. Fingers crossed, we are starting to see the back end of that, with more first-team players returning to the side. In other Celtic FC news, former England striker Kevin Phillips has said that Celtic need to manage James McCarthy after the Irish internationalist was forced from the field yesterday. The 30-year-old was on the end of a painful tackle from Fuchs that only warranted a yellow in the eyes of Kevin Clancy. The Celtic manager took no chances and replaced him with Ismail Asoro at half-time. He went on to say Celtic needed to manage McCarthy's situation in order to get the best out of him. McCarthy is not a young player anymore and when you sign a player like that you have to manage him right. You have to do your due diligence with the sports science guys. If you want the best out of him on a weekend you cannot physically flog him during the week. You don't want to tire him out otherwise he won't be able to last long at the weekend. I'm a little surprised they gave him a four-year deal. They need to manage him now. It will be interesting to see how many minutes he plays this season. McCarthy has probably been unfortunate in the respect that he has come in to replace Callum McGregor. The captain's energy and ability with the ball is unique in the league and McCarthy has been expected to almost replace that immediately. However, he is not that type of player and could potentially work well with McGregor in the midfield going forward. The player had COVID-19 and his game time appeared to be limited by the manager before that in order to get him up to full fitness. McCarthy appears to have been thrust into the main stage with McGregor's injury. Hopefully, he can stay fit and Celtic can see the level of performances that saw McCarthy earn accolades in the Premier League. Celtic fans subscribe for more Celtic FC news daily.